Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel WebLearnX. This is Virendra Kumar Singh. In this video, I am going to explain how to create the any event listener in Spring Boot. So let get started. First, let us understand what is the event listener. So it is related from the event management. So let us suppose uh, in any uh, projects require uh, required the some producer and consumer kinds of things and producer going to produce something and on the basis of produce consumer getting the whatever that they have produced it's a one to consume means there is the two loose coupling component communicate from each other but both component have no any uh, any inform uh, any mutual relationship means uh, there is no any hard or tight coupling object to communicate it so from the spring on the beginning of spring they have provided the event listener to manage the all kinds of events basically uh, for the there are numbers of example like a producer and consumer mechanism or any let's suppose i want to fire the any query in one table if got the result on the basis of result let's fire the query on the second table let's create a scenario let's suppose i have a one user table and one role table but my condition is once a user is registered successfully then uh, it's uh, insert the record in the role table so for this scenario first i uh, pass the one query inside of user table insert query on the basis of response of user table uh, table query uh, role ta uh, table insert the record so for user table i uh, i need to pass user and role table i need to pass as a events management so once user is insert successfully then on the basis of response it will insert the role table or let's suppose uh, create one other scenario let's suppose i have uh, one application which is count the how any any user how many times log in in any application so in this scenario once user is logged in means logged in is successfully completed then it will fire one uh, uh, it will fire one count query in count table so but there is no any relationship between login and count so in maven i did not add the any extra dependency to manage the event listener because this is the by default provided by the spring so no need to add any extra dependency so let's understand with the project structure so i have created one model here inside a model i pass the some user information it's a very basic information like name is admin status and all and uh, I have created one listener and publisher so publisher would be publish the events and on the basis of publisher listener class listen the whatever the publisher is published to communicate between publisher and listener I have create one events so I have create one events class class name is user events and here application event must be extend inside of user events otherwise it will not work as a event management so in spring there is a two way to communicate to create the event listener or publisher one is the implement application listener and pass the events name means uh, and second way to auto word with the annotations sorry not auto word it's a add the annotations event listener so there is a two way if i am going to 
mark this is the comment so this will work for me but I need to import this means both are work as similar so for this demonstration I am going to use the annotation based but you can add according to your requirement so so this is the my listener and this is my event publisher so event publish, uh, publisher I am going to publish the one user information means uh, when the any user pass the some information through the endpoint rest endpoint so whatever the user information is getting it's I have pub uh, published this user information using up application application event publisher this is the provided by spring this is the default and uh, default uh, annotation which is provided by the spring so I have created application event publisher class or uh, object of that this class and this class provide the numbers of methods so you can observe there is the public e publish event and there is some more uh, more events also but not in this interface it's the in inside of listener interface so publisher interface have only publish events once publisher event uh, pu uh, publish the event listener where is the configured listener automatically listen this event and execute the task on the basis of uh, so let's open the publisher method oh sorry list, uh, event listener method so in, in event listener I am using the annotation based event listener so I mark the annotation and I pass the my event listener object so in user event listener I have passed the user information as well as some additional informations so I have created the one argu uh, argument constructor and pass the object which is uh, represent the current object and the user information so on the basis of events it will filter out the what events have the how many object in this listener so in this listener I have one uh, I have only one object so it will get the that object and pass get the information related from the event uh, passing object so in this example I am going to show the whatever the user information published listener listen all the user information so I am printing the user name uh, if you want then uh, you can print the all information of the user like name address means whatever the information having the user like get status and all so let's open in point so in point I have passed the some username and status uh, sorry type type is the my boolean means uh, it's a true or false and uh, status is active only so it's the hard coded it's not required so let's understand with the example uh, sorry execution so I'm going to run this application so my application is up and running on 8080 port let me fire the query uh, sorry fire the endpoint so I'm passing the user username as a viru and uh, status is the true we can pass the either true or false because it's a boolean type so once I fire this endpoint so you can observe I got the some information which is listen by listener so what is the my information is name and active by default I have added active here that's why it's getting active here and publisher publish all these things using up name user uh, using up user information and publisher once I publish the events so automatically listener 
listen this event and show the output For, uh, but some uh, some business requirement uh, it's occurred like uh, uh, it's events listener work when the any certain condition is true only let's suppose i have fired the uh, for the mic uh, condition if user insert record successfully in that cases it will insert the role table otherwise it will not insert the role table means i want to, if uh, uh, there is any business requirement to pass the this event on the certain condition so how to manage the condition so for manage any condition so let me remove this line i think so so pass the any certain condition we need to add this condition inside of listener means condition is if root dot get arg means whatever the argument is getting by event if it holding the any admin and the value of admin if true then only it will perform the task so let's open the events in at events i have added the one admin here in boolean if it is true only then it's going to perform this task so let's run this so it's going to build so application is rebuilt again let me hit the i am going to first pass the true let's check console so i got the user information because whatever the admin value is getting true how to confirm this it is getting tr uh, true or false so in events i am passing the admin value as is user admin information means whatever the i am passing the value so let's open the controller my type what type i have passing from the u uh, end point it's going to assign in side of admin so whatever the type type is true or false it's uh, assigned inside of admin and in events i am going to assign the is admin to admin means if is admin is true then admin value is true if is admin is false then admin value is false and in listener if admin is false then it won't be event listen so let's pass the false value and check the output i have passed the false it it should not show any result so you can observe here i did not get the any result listener is not working if my admin is false let me confirm once again pass as the true so i got the result so this is the way how to pass the any condition inside of event listener so this is the all configuration required to create the any event listener inside of spring boot project so i am going to commit this code on my github url you check check out from your side and try to run please subscribe my youtube channel and share with the friends and like thanks